In 1982, Jim Henson, creator of The Muppets, released a film he considered to be his masterpiece. This film featured not a single human character, utilizing nearly all impractical camera effects. A mastery of cinema, art, and craft, this film would change how films were made and a generation of kids who would later discover it. The people behind the creation of The Dark Crystal were such masters of their craft that, before the film was completed, Frank Oz, the co-director, and Wendy Froud, a lead puppet builder, were tapped to create and puppeteer Yoda, which would pave the way for the success of The Dark Crystal. In 2014, a conversation between two lifelong fans of The Dark Crystal began with one question. What if we made a documentary about the cultural and artistic effects of The Dark Crystal? So my parents would always record TV shows and films through the VHS player, and The Dark Crystal just happened to be one of those films. So when I saw the film, I was immediately blown away by, by just how real the world uh, felt to me as a child. I remember um, walking by a living room or a friend's house or whatever, and they were watching this movie, and I could tell right away that this movie was very, very different. Um, it, it was, it just felt different. There was something textural about it, um, something magical about this, and it just blew me away. And so I b borrowed their videotape and I watched it a couple of times and I was just obsessed. My life was changed in many ways and so I became obsessed with The Dark Crystal. At one point I watched the film 28 times in a week. It's just one of those films I can just sit back, relax and enjoy it and simply immerse myself. And uh, that's really what changed me as a child creatively. A couple of years ago, the Jim Henson Company launched an official Dark Crystal website. And also there was a Facebook fan group dedicated to the film as well. So it was those two things that really motivated me to make a podcast about the Dark Crystal. But not just like fans, and there were a lot of fans, but people who worked on the film like Mike Quinn, like Timothy Clark, like Toby Philpott, all these people who had worked on this film that I've idolized most of my life. And just things like the Landstriders didn't exist. When I first uh, joined the crew and we were workshopping to try and invent weird creatures. I mean, four of us would stand back to back, link arms and try and make a, an eight legged spider and then go, could you put a costume over that? We'd be running out of the studio doing weird things. And Robbie Barnett came in. He was another clown like me, another street performer, but he was a stilt walker. And he came in with his six foot stilts just to show them, you know, and said, and you could put front legs on this. And then he started wandering around and somebody went, aha, woof, look at this. Let's, let's build something around that. We spent so much time and work putting in these minute details from even the beads on the mystic's clothing. And the same thing is true with, you know, the characters and the sets that moved, you know, like every, every single thing was handmade. So a couple episodes into producing the podcast, Jamie approached me and we chatted over Skype conversations about the Dark Crystal. So we connected and my gears were turning in my head like, something has to be done. And I, I immediately thought a documentary has to be made about this movie. But also about the fandom and the influence behind the film. And I was like, yeah, Sean, why not? Like, let's, let, let's do it. A movie that very few people know about. A movie that, you know, at one point I tweeted James Gunn saying, have you been inspired on your work of Guardians of the Galaxy by the Dark Crystal? And have you seen it? And he tweets me back and he says, I'm not really sure. And I thought, you know what? This is why this documentary needs to be done, because the world needs to know about this that still looks better than most films today, that passes the test of time. I see kind of what the Dark Crystal, what role it played for me in my life, and it was really an ultimate escape for me. But it's given me a much deeper appreciation for what the production crew brought to bring the whole film to life.